Let me show you some improvements to the NX dependency graph that are available in NX version 8.12 or greater. You just run NX depth graph and it shows a graphical representation of the dependency graph between all of the projects in your workspace. Now this is a relatively small workspace here, but it's already starting to get difficult to see everything that's going on. If I click on the products project here, it shows me that it's an app with the name products and what tags it has. And I can also click this focus button. And now the dependency graph only shows projects that either depend on products or are depended on by products. I can also click on a project and click exclude to remove it from the graph. Or if I'd like to see which folder each of these projects are in, I can click group by folder. And now these rectangles show which folder each of these projects are placed in. Let me toggle that off. And now I can click on a different project and click focus here. And this lets me navigate around my dependency graph just by focusing on the projects that I'm concerned about. You can also click the unfocus button in the left hand navigation to show all the projects again. Or click on one of these focus buttons to quickly focus on one of the projects. These checkboxes let you easily hide and show particular libraries. You can also generate an affected dependency graph, either using the command line with NX affected depth graph, or using the NX console VS Code extension. Just click affected dependency graph, press enter, and it launches the affected dependency graph. By default, it will only show the projects that are affected by your current change. You can also click select all to show everything or switch back to select affected. With this tool, you can more easily analyze the evolving architecture of your workspace.